Hi, I'm Mrs. Charles. Today I'm showing you how to make compost in a cup. Okay, for this activity you will need a bowl and a spoon, a knife, which your parents will have to help you with. We need two cups with slits pre-done in the bottom, which your parents can help you with. And a bowl that you'll place like that so you don't get your table dirty. You need compost material, cutting board, a couple of plastic baggies, and a couple of rubber bands, a quarter of a cup of dirt, which I pre-measured, and I have some coffee grounds that you can use also. Okay, the first step is to take your vegetable and fruit scraps and cut them up into small pieces. So you want to make sure you've got a mom or a dad doing this with you so that it's done safely. So you're going to take the stuff you're not going to use to actually eat and just cut it up into little pieces. Make sure you're very careful when you do this. I've got cucumber here and we'll just the end of a cucumber so we'll just cut that into small pieces. I've got a mushroom that's not good enough to use so I can use that. I've got a banana peeling here and an orange peeling. Um, I have an apple core and a piece of zucchini. You can use all kinds of vegetables. You can use grass clippings. You can use um, uh, whatever you have. You just want to make sure you don't use any meat, dairy, or seafood products. So after you've cut up everything, take your organic stuff and throw it in the bowl. Okay, now you're ready to add your quarter cup of dirt. So I'll pour that in. And I'm also going to add, I had some coffee grounds that I took from a K-cup. And you just put that in too. You, just, you don't have to use that. That's optional. So mix it all up. Okay, so we add just a little water to it to moisten the mix. And then you're going to fill your cups. Then you're going to take your piece of plastic. I like to use a baggie because it's already got sides. Put it over like that. And take your rubber band. And go like that. Okay, how should you care for your compost cups? Compost piles need sun, shade, water, and movement. So if you're doing this activity in warmer weather, you can put your cups outside in an area that has sun for part of the day. Bacteria and fungi love to live in a warm environment. Now the shade keeps the compost from becoming too warm because then it would dry up. Rain will keep it moist. If it doesn't rain, you're going to want to open it up and add a little bit of water and make sure you give the cup shakes from time to time. That'll help it decompose faster. I did my experiment in the winter time, so I put my cup on a table next to a window. If you keep your cups inside, you'll need to protect your tabletop by putting a dish underwater to collect the water that drains from the slits in the cup. Mine became a little moldy. How long does this take? Well, it could take up to a month. Your finished compost should look crumbly, dark, and like beautiful soil, and it should smell like a forest floor. Mine took a long time, but your might, yours might take shorter or longer to compost. You could experiment by placing your two cups in different areas, but you need to know that you might need patience because it won't happen quickly. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science of composting. Composting happens in nature. Fallen leaves, grass, and plants break down these organic materials into compost. 
Worms and pill bugs also help change organic material into compost. Rain gives the moisture needed. When the material turns to compost in nature, it begins to give the plants around it good nutrients to be healthy and grow. It's a wonderful cycle. The compost you make in your cups can be mixed into any garden you plan on using this summer. Just mix it into the soil. Your plants will grow better. Compost is like fertilizer. Good luck making your compost. I hope you had fun and that you can use it to help your seeds or plants grow this summer.